to this new video now. We're just getting in at 6 o'clock. It's from inside of a state police uh, cruiser that was hit by a semi-truck while on the scene of what ended up being a series of wrecks. About 40 cars were involved in one stretch of US 31 this morning. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks spoke with that officer, and he's live near Muskegon. Hey, Brian, happy to report that that officer is okay. In fact, in this crash, really no major injuries. Take a look at some of the damage. We're not talking about fender benders here. You can see the front of this car wrecked. This one, even the airbags had to come out. And this is what the vehicles are looking like here at Eagle Towing inside the garage where a lot of those cars were taken. It's certainly one of those crash that has you going, whew, Smash! They always say it happens so fast. I mean, it was inside of probably 10 minutes that it went from being able to see what you're, was going on ahead of you to not seeing it. And here you see it for yourself. A state police motor carrier stopped on the side of the road, and here comes a way close, way fast trailer hauling truck. Luckily, it made it through without a hit. But his gutsy driving slowed traffic even more. Moments later, a semi truck comes from behind and smash. Swaying trailer still can be seen here. Police say the driver did not stop. I'm not even sure if he knew that he hit me. The chain reaction not over. Watch the left side of your screen. A pickup truck loses it and frees it. Back to that in a second. Officer Dan Rosler was one of two officers hit during the series of crashes. Muskegon Deputy Scott Foster was hit twice, and she was driving the white SUV you can see in the picture. I actually lost control. I hit a car in front of me. I was thrown off, and I hit the police officer who was in the ditch. There was nothing that we could do to stop. I made sure that he was okay. He was um, had a gash on his forehead and looked like he was trying to catch his breath, so I stopped to make sure he was okay. But then I think he went off and continued to help other people. It was pretty scary. Scariest thing in my life. Foster was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Some three dozen crashes were involved in wrecks here on 31 near Whitehall, and for most of them, it's simply too fast for conditions. Today, thankfully, tragedy is instead a different adage. Yeah, it could have been worse. And here is it could have been worse personified in pictures that too fast for conditions SUV. Well, it narrowly missed smashing into the back of a semi truck could have been a lot worse. I think they need to slow down. I mean, nowhere to get that nowhere to go. They have to go that fast when conditions are bad. And that's the moral of the story really here is to slow down, especially when you see those emergency vehicles on the side of the road with lights on top. Remember, there are moms and dads and brothers and sisters working in front of those vehicles. Certainly something to slow down for. Reporting live in Muskegon County, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.